Okay, team, I have one more for you in this set. This is uh, from the reading specialist test and it's connected to this assessment. And this is actually one assessment. There were actually several others connected to this one here. So we're gonna be looking at one where the teacher spots uh, a couple words that have similar similar errors. So I think they they had like a, a long vowel assessment, you know, a digraph, a diphthong assessment, and the reading specialist went through all those and they found another pattern in these multiple assessments. And, and they give some of those words. So I want you to take two minutes now. I want you to read this one and then we can talk about it, okay? Do that now, one minute on your own, two minutes on your own, go. Pause. Okay, so it says here, the reading specialist notes that the student made similar errors when reading the nonsense words, and then we have some that are not on our list. Now, before we go on, let's just clarify some of these. Soap was one of them that we had on our list. And we said here, soaked should have been a, a long vowel, a silent E phonics pattern, right? And, and thrist, that's another one. Thrist has a, uh, has a bunch of blends in it. Do you see that? There's some consonant blends going on. There's uh, there's actually, and there's actually a cluster going on. So there's a cluster and there's a blend. Okay, uh, there's other ones. Here. So uh, same thing with this one right here. That's got a blend. So so if we if we go and we look at this, this has a blend. This has a bl some blends. This has a silent E. And these two have controlled R. Can you see that? Clar and Jern have controlled R. So R controlled is vowel, the letter R. That's R control. Okay, so I'm seeing here where there's some issues in those words involving blends or maybe involving blends, some magic E, some, some R control going on. And it says here, the specialist could best address the student's need indicated by these related reading errors by considering the reciprocal relationship between Okay, now I want to point out, now we got to look closer. And I only, I've only given you two out of the five words to look at. Um, and I'm just going to look at these two and I'm going to point something out and I hope that hopefully you'll see it. This should have been stoked and they said stopped. And do you see how they've moved the T here over and they've added in a T? Right? So they've actually, or they've, they've, they've added something in, or this one right here, it should have been thrist, and they did thirst, right? So they actually moved one of the sounds over, yes? So as they do their letter sound correspondence, there, there's an error in the order of the sounds. Can you sign, kind of see that? The order of some of the sounds is being, is being altered. That's a very specific type of decoding error. Okay, so it says here, in thinking about these errors, uh, where there is some of the sounds being moved around in the words, uh, is this a, is this a, and it says, considering the reciprocal relationship between what? Word recognition spelling? Eh, no, not necessarily, word recognition. And spelling, um, kind of, uh, not necessarily, right? Recognizing words and spelling words. I mean, maybe, but I, I don't think that's what's going on here, right? Uh, does it have to do with phonological awareness and word recognition? So phonological awareness is very broad. That's like, that's the broadest, that's hearing sounds and recognizing words. The reason why this is wrong is because it's too broad. How about this? Does it have to do with uh, rapid letter naming speed and decoding or automaticity? No, this isn't really these errors and these errors and the reciprocal nature between, you know, letter naming and letter naming speed and decoding. Um, letter naming speed is helpful uh, because it's going to help with the alphabetical principle, I suppose, if you can recognize and, and, and you know what letter you're dealing with. But Letter naming and then decoding sometimes that's no, it's not a reciprocal. No, 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 no. 
But what is reciprocal is sounds, a phonemic awareness and decoding, meaning the more, the more sounds you can hear and the letter sound correspondence that you have, that's going to help. So letter sound correspondence, there is that reciprocal relationship, right? Where you're hearing sounds and decoding a word and decoding, matching letters with the sounds. So the two reinforce each other. And these errors that are happening, there seems to be in that, there seems to be a breakdown in that relationship, meaning that they're, they're taking a word and they're getting some of the sounds in the wrong place. And so that would be something where we'd want to do some explicit uh, phonemic awareness uh, activities that involve phonics, like say it and move it, to help a student match up the, the sounds in a word in their right location. Okay. So we'd want to make sure that we got the th and then the r and then the vowel and then the st, right? It's a little harder. Lots going on in this question. The answer here is C. I hope you've enjoyed this set of questions. I don't normally get to do these questions in the classes because they're very specific. But if you're doing the reading specialist exam, you should take a look at them, okay? And if you're not doing the reading specialist exam and you just want a challenge, it's a good challenge question, okay? Get exposure to a lot. In these in this scenario, you're going to get exposure to all the, a review of all these ideas, okay? All right, team, the answer is C. Let's keep going.